Sylvanas was always the good guy. Some people actually really believe that, that Sylvanas did nothing wrong. I think she's evil, but let's see if this video will change my mind. I look at her look already. She looks like she wants to kill someone. Greetings again, little Anduin. Have you reconsidered my offer that'll get you a taste of this ass? Take what the your heck? maggoty ass and be gone, thought. <laughs> I shall not fall prey to your temptations towards evil. Evil? I I'm not evil. Haven't you heard the recent theory crafting? I've been a good guy this whole time secretly. What? Th Sylvanas, since classic, wow, you've been evil. That's Your whole true. backstory during that time was you wanted to make a plague that would kill the Scourge and then wipe out all life on Azeroth, turning everybody into undead. Exactly. Now, you see, th that's just not true. That was me just setting the stage for my master good guy plan. You know what? Like, um, there's actually a room in the Undercity. And Sylvanas is the leader, so she knows everything that's happening in the Undercity. And they need permission to even do anything. Where well, there are like cages, and there are freaking humans uh, in captivity. And they are doing freaking experiments with her new plague she's developing that uh, will kill the not just the living, but even the undead and stuff, right? So, a leader that allows experiments on imprisoned humans that results in their suffering... I don't think that's a good leader at all. Like, she was never the good guy. It's not true. That was me just setting the stage for my master good guy. Oh, player. wow. Tis, you used the Valkyr right. to raise innocent people to serve you in Cataclysm, just like the Lich King. Yeah. Yeah, and? So similar. You killed your own people for your own selfish gains. You rigged your people's home city to explode just to kill your enemies. Now they're totally homeless. You plunged the wow. world into an unnecessary war that killed thousands. You were responsible. I have not looked at it that way with the Undercity. Like, I always thought, like, the reason why they destroyed the Undercity and, and let loose those this new plague... Because uh, she did, she know, like she knew, like they were losing, and there was like no option. Like, okay, we are losing anyway. So if we really lose, they will take over the city, like the alliance. So if if we cannot keep the city, let's at least not let them have it, right? So that's what I thought. That the reason why why she did that was so nobody can use it because they knew already they were going to lose against the alliance. But yeah, who knows, like. Maybe it could have been like that where they maybe would have kept fighting and see what the real outcome would have been. But I think she was already thinking that they were going to lose anyway. So it's better to just destroy the city than let have someone have it, right? To explode just to kill your enemies. Now they're totally homeless. You plunged the world into an unnecessary war that killed thousands. You were responsible for Queen Azara's return, kinda, which caused Nazoth to break free from his prison. Oh, no. Yeah. Go on. Go on. You committed a mass genocide against the Night Elves. That was you the most evil one. You burned down Teldrassil. You killed Sarfang, who was just trying to protect the integrity of the Horde. You abandoned your lover, Nathanos, to die to Taronda. You signed a pact with this 12-foot-tall vampire-looking bodybuilder to break the entire <laughs> structure of the cosmos because you're afraid of dying. Yeah, yeah, but you see, it was all to stop death or, or something like that. What? And that's why I'm a good guy. Sylvanas, you are death! You're responsible for the destruction of two capital cities, and now an infinite number of innocent souls are being fed into damnation because of your selfishness. Look, someone of your IQ just wouldn't understand, Anduin. I am the good guy. Look, tell him. I don't really see how she's the good guy here, but that's one thing I'm wondering. Has Anduin ever done something questionable morally? When I think about it, Anduin, like, law-wise, and the way they are, he's shown through, like, the whole campaign, everything, I've never seen him being, like, kind of, like, gray, like, morally gray or anything, right? And I don't even see how he did ever anything bad, right? Does anyone know if Anduin ever did something evil? Like, let me know in the comment section, because so far I could not find a single moment where Anduin was evil or something like that, right? Like, sure, he was, like, part of Wars and stuff, but it was kind of, like, more like a defense thingy, right? 
was against hostility, but has he ever done something like morally gray or so? I don't think so even. I am the good guy. Look, tell him, Blizzard. Don't you see, Anduin? She's the good Ugh, guy. The pens. She's been good all this time. You see, it's just my character is so deep and complex that you don't get it. Is this... Is this the story of this expansion? This is so stupid. Are you two insane? Because none of this makes any sense. True. You think Sylvanas is a stupid character? What's wrong, Anduin? D do you hate women or something? Yeah, Anduin. Are you just intimidated by a strong female lead character? Oh my fucking god, not this nonsense. Just do me a favor and kill me. <laughs> uh, what does it, it, it... You know what? Like... This actually did not convince me that Sylvanas is a good guy. It actually convinced me even more that I'm right that Sylvanas is evil. No, the thing is, she's a victim of the past, kind of. So, why is she evil and how they are like Blizzard is trying to deliver it is was because Arthur's raised her as a banshee and and she lost this this war against the Scourge that in, invaded the formerly high elven uh, cities right and stuff so many died so she saw like suffering she was raised to undeath so she wants revenge and it kind of like tainted her soul or something right so she became like evil kind of right like that's how, how she's like being represented like shown to us right but does that like there's like there's a question and some people that's probably why some say maybe she's good that's how i think that they think um because she has suffered in the past and she was a victim and all the actions she's doing now is because of her past. So there should be some sort of redemption for her because it was not her own will. She was actually a good ranger. She was a nice person when she was a high elf. But Arthur's corrupted her with undeath, this and that. But to me, like, just because something bad happens to you, it shouldn't be an excuse so you can do bad stuff. Because even if bad happens to you, like, what's important is what are you doing with your situation? Are you going to turn evil because you experienced evil? That doesn't make you good. Or are you going to just kind of like swallow it up? Like, oh, some shit happened to me in the past. Like, so much suffering, so much bad stuff. But you know what? I'm not gonna lose the OG uh, person that I am. I'm still a good person even though I suffered. And I will still do good on this, on this planet or something. Like, that's what makes someone good. Someone that can endure suffering and still be good. And all this temptation, all that, resist it. But Sylvanas, she was also kind of power hungry. Like, why why did she need to raise freaking uh, humans again as for new forsaken? Like, why was it necessary with the Valkyr? Like, sure, she said, oh, we can't uh, procreate our, our race, like the forsaken. We are going to die out and stuff. But you know what? I think it's even better if they die out because they are under. Some some don't want to be even raised like, against their will. Like look at it, for example, when you make a new Forsaken character and you have to talk to those newly raised Forsaken. Some are going nuts. Some are uh, looking at themselves. Oh, I'm a monster and stuff. Like even Lillian was at the beginning. Like she only got to accept her, her her fate, kind of like what she has become. But at the beginning, she was completely against it. Or that guy that has like a hands from someone else who fell in battle against an orc and stuff like a lot of those newly raised forsaken you see from their reaction they're not happy to be undead but as they stay in this world for some time they get used to who they are now and they accept it and they continue right but the beginning is what matters like if at the first moments of being raised someone does not want to be raised then it should be respected right so yeah it's kind of like I don't know. I, I think it was wrong with the Verki and raising them. Just because she wanted to have power and her affection, like her race to be strong. I think it's not the right way. But yeah, this was with the Undercity. Like what was said here, like that she destroyed it. This was evil, this and that. I think this was because she was being des Like this was desperation because she was being cornered by the Alliance, right? And she saw no other way out because if she doesn't do it, the city would fall anyway. Like that's how I see it, so... Yeah, we might as well just blow up the city and, and take everyone wi with it. That's what I think she was thinking. So I wouldn't say this was bad, but the rest was definitely very evil. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what you're thinking about Sylvanas. Do you guys think, just like me, that she's super evil? Or do you think she's actually good or like a great character? Because I don't see like so much she has done that was really good, like lore-wise. Has she done anything like super good? 
Like maybe the retreat, uh, uh, like the, the Legion intro, right? How she's like retreating to save like the Horde. Okay. That you could kind of say was good, maybe, but that's like such a kind of small thing, right? <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know if she did ever anything really good. I can't remember anything, but yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think of her character. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. And yeah, let's see if she will ever return. I'm not sure. Because right now she's still in the Shadowlands. We don't know if she will ever return. I'm definitely curious about her future. Let's see what will happen next. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.